We're going to be looking at question 2b part 1 of the National 5 2015 question paper. Um, let's just have a look at uh, question 1. Remember this is our question, sorry, the first part of the question. Uh, it relates to graphs for LEDs and um, lamps and resistors and so on. Um, so part b is really not related to that in, in any way at all. It says one of the components is operated at 4 volts, so that's one of our key um, things that we need to bear in mind uh, with a current of 0 0.5 amps for 60 seconds. So we're given information about uh, time and voltage and current. Um, calculate the energy transferred uh, to the component during this time. So we're trying to find energy. Um, that's the key thing that we're looking for. Um, and so what we should do is really do a left-hand line up here of all the information that we have. So let's do that first of all. So we've got our voltage um, is 4 volts, 4.0 volts. Um, and let's just tidy that up. It looks like 4.6, doesn't it? Um, just to make it correct. Uh, we have current, which is 0 0.50. Amps. Notice everything is to 2 sig fig, so when we give our answer later on we should give it to 2 sig fig as well. We've got time as well, and that's 60 seconds. And we have energy, that's what we're looking for. So we have to think about all of these and what links um, energy and time and voltage and current. And if we think about it, we have an equation um, for power, which is current times voltage, and we have another equation for power, which is energy over time. And so if we can find power from the current and voltage, we can use that power in this equation with the time to get the energy. So let's work through that. So over here, the power is equal to the current, 0 0.5 times the voltage of 4. That gives us a power of 2. I'll call it 2.0 watts. And then we can plug that into the equation over here. Uh, 2.0 is equal to the energy over the 60 seconds. And so the energy is going to be 2 times 60. So our final answer is that the energy is equal to 120 joules. And let's check 2 sig fig all the way and the answer is given to 2 sig fig. So finally you can see that this question is worth 4 marks um, and it is an involved question. Typically a standard 3 marker would have an equation, put the numbers in and give your answer with a unit and here you've got the extra mark and that extra mark is really due to the fact that there are two equations and you get a mark for each one.